Hi there, in this uh, video we are going to see how you can uh, measure interaction uh, within an app, um, the app of App Inventor 2 thanks to Matomo Analytics. So in fact what you have to know is uh, App Inventor 2 is kind of not the best platform in order to measure uh, interaction because you cannot inject anything within uh, the app in itself. So in fact you have uh, kind of few possibilities to do it. You can do it either through HTTP request, so that's the technique uh, that we are going to see uh, here, or either you have the possibility uh, to use what we call um, what we call the web, uh, no, not the web, but it's the web viewer uh, component, which is kind of an iframe, uh, which does not really allow you to measure much. So I think uh, the web one is probably the best one and that's the one that I'm going to use here uh, which is nothing more than the image tracker so to understand how it works uh, you just need uh, to have a look through the tracking HTTP uh, API documentation of Matomo Analytics all you need to have is a Matomo running and once you have a Matomo running in fact you will get here uh, the URL of your instance which correspond to uh, the place where you need uh, to make the call. So to make it simple, if you own a website on uh, on Matomo, uh, if you go on the tracking code page, we'll see just below the JavaScript tracking code, we'll see the image tracking code. And this image tracking code, you see the request that you can see here is nothing more than the same thing that uh, you can see uh, over here. So just going to explain you that. So here, HTTPS, blah, 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 up to uh, this given part, I decide equal uh, 21 is the request in order to uh, say, okay, I want to, re to record something within the ID site number 21, which corresponds to this given website uh, that I just created. Then the other parameter, which is the end that you can see here, and action name equals something is nothing more than the additional parameter that you can see uh, over here, and so on and so forth. So as far as you add those parameters within your request, then you will define the request uh, will be sent. Uh, so if uh, you don't trust me, you can just do something like this. Okay, you copy that, then you go uh, on a text editor and you do something like this. Okay, and you say, okay, my test, is it like this, my test, and then <coughs> you do something, uh, something like this, dot dot dot, and you copy and paste. So that's the HTTP request which will be fired if I execute it and if I look now within the visit log I will see that I have exactly oops sorry for that exactly my request which have been made so it's my test okay so here pay attention put that out okay and if I go back uh, over here I will see my test you see Okay, so nothing fancy. In fact, the uh, HTTP request is just made of several uh, parameters that you're going to add in order to send uh, your request. So, in fact, what's going to happen here is that I'm going to hide between, uh, behind each of those buttons an HTTP request which will be sent every time someone's going to click on one of those buttons. So this is what I did over here. If I just uh, copy and paste this part, so this uh, side, but actually the component has to be set on this given URL and get URL means that I'm going to execute this given uh, URL. So if I do something like this, you will see that I added many parameters. So I added uh, one parameter in order to say, okay, I want to fire a URL which is called uh, my tablet satisfaction screen and then I want as well to have another parameter which is named action name satisfaction screen which is the name of the action and then I want to be considered as a new uh, visit and then I want to get the value that I want to record as a custom dimension dimension one and that's just uh, what you need to know uh, and now we're gonna make uh, exactly the use case so i'm going to show you the tablet so the tablet is is right here as you can see i'm going to click on uh, probably uh, good because i hardly ever click on it so i'm going to click on it okay so now i'm going to be redirected to this given uh, page showing that everything is uh, everything is okay which is uh, this one looks like uh, looks like this so this is good 
so I'm gonna go back now on my uh, on my screen, and uh, if I look uh, over here and I look at the visit log, I will see that uh, I have my satisfaction screen which have been loaded that I clicked on uh, good and as you saw within this uh, video probably I didn't uh, disconnect it because I didn't went on the second uh, page um, so that's why the second URL have not been loaded but I got uh, the value as I wanted so custom dimension which equal to good uh, the action name which is equal to satisfaction screen and then the URL which equal to my the tablet slash satisfaction screen so everything has been fired thanks to the tracking http api uh, just because i added the right parameter at the right uh, time within my app and that's it uh, for today so we really hope uh, that you enjoyed this video and that you understood what the image tracker is about so as an exercise please try to play with the http tracking api of uh, matomo and include it within App Inventor to App. Thanks for watching.